Right guys, so today, welcome back to episode two of the Lockdown Cup featuring me, Scott Pollock, Spencer FC, Marcus Stamp, and Sunday League's George Irving. If you haven't seen episode one, make sure to go over, check that one out before you start watching this one, uh, because you, you need to follow it along to understand. So if you enjoyed episode one, you're probably gonna enjoy episode two, so smash a like, let's go for a thousand thumbs up. Comment down below what other videos you guys wanna see, bearing in mind that we are still uh, in lockdown, so there's only certain stuff that can be done, but leave a comment nonetheless. Also, leave a comment as to who you think is going to win this series. I, I, it's interesting to, to hear what you guys have to say about who you think is actually going to win. So if you are new joining this series um, and you want to know the rules quickly, it's pretty much very, very similar to an old Spencer series called Footballers. We all start off with five golds, five silvers and seven bronze cards uh, and one captain who we chose at random in the last episode. That is your main player who stays in your team the whole time. You then compete in different challenges, which gives you rewards or punishments and affects how many players uh, you add to your team or take out your team or uh, different stuff like that. Now, obviously this being episode two means uh, there's a new challenge to be talked about. Now that challenge is gonna to be toilet roll keepy uppies. It's literally as simple as that. Obviously with everyone being indoors, you don't tend to kick footballs around when you're indoors. So the, the substitute of that has been toilet roll since there was a whole trend of uh, it being very, very popular in the supermarkets. Whoever can do the most amount of keepy ups with the toilet roll wins. And again, there'll be varied rewards and punishments uh, for where you finish on the table. Now I can put on the screen the updated table of this episode. Uh, Stampy and Spen did play each other and I can't say it was a shock result. I did expect Spen to win with the team that he does have and obviously Stampy uh, unfortunately didn't get to use his captain but he's, his words are, it's on site for everyone so um, I'm, I'm nervous. Just finished my game against Stampy. I think I got a bit fortunate that I played Stampy first week because um, he struggled a bit in the 5k run and this was probably one of the challenges that's going to suit me a bit more. Uh, obviously Scotty P smashed the 5k but nowhere near him but pretty happy to come second when you consider that I'm nearly 10 years older than the rest of this group of uh, ragtag individuals. And uh, I have probably got the, maybe not the best FIFA team, but maybe the best FIFA team of players to, to bring in. The fact that I came second meant I could bring three players in. Stampy missed his captain. It could have been a very different, very different outcome. I know Stampy's a very good player. I think he's probably better than me, to be honest, if we had equal teams. So I'll take that. It's only the first game. You know, there's plenty more to go. I don't know how I'm going to get on in the rest of the challenges. And uh, I look forward to seeing everyone else's teams, you know, develop. But so far, so good. Very happy with the start. Let's go. Right, I was praying for a FIFA miracle. The FIFA gods didn't listen to me whatsoever. I got battered 5-1. Not really much else to say. All I'm going to say, actually, is it's on site for everyone now. I don't care. Like, I actually don't care. That has really annoyed me. Thanks, Spencer. So that does put Spen top of the table on goal difference. But episode two also means a whole brand new round of fixtures. Now, Scotty P obviously had a bye in the first round. Spen now has a bye, and the fixtures are me versus Scott Pollock, which you'll see in this episode, and George Irving versus Stampy. Now, George should be nervous. So the rewards slash punishments for this episode are going to be, uh, if you finish in first, you get five upgrades. Now, this is different to previous episode, which was any any four players you could add. This is an upgrade, so if it's a bronze player, you have to upgrade the bronze player to a silver. If it's a silver, you have to upgrade to a gold. Because on the transfer market, you go straight from a gold to special, and in special, there's um, icons, there's informs, there's all different varied types of cards. They are the, uh, that is considered an upgrade from a gold to a special item. First place will get five upgrades, second will get four, Third will get three, fourth will get two, and uh, fifth place won't have a punishment this week, but you are only getting one upgrade. So we're gonna head over to the guys and uh, see what they think about challenge two. Right, another day, another challenge. Um, challenge number two is keep you up with a toilet roll. Something come, um, I fancy myself in. I came fourth in challenge one, so I've definitely got to improve. Get some players in, the team is crying out for some upgrades. Scott EP is desperate for some help in that midfield. Come on. Right, so challenge two is the kick up challenge with the toilet roll. Uh, should be fairly good at this. I've done it a few times on my Instagram. Uh, so I had a little bit of practice. Right, okay, toilet roll keepy uppy challenge. I got three attempts to try and beat the rest of the lads. Obviously, I don't know what scores they're gonna get. Surprisingly enough, when this was a trend, I never actually took part and uh, posted it on my Instagram or anything. I don't think I did. Um, so I'm gonna aim for 20. Interesting words again from the guys. I'm not too confident on this, but uh, let's get into the challenge nonetheless. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so Spencer's go at the toilet roll keepy uppy challenge. I've got three takes of this, I believe. Hopefully we don't need them. Don't know what the other boys have done, but let's just worry about my game. Here we go. <clears throat> ah! Two. Right, we can beat two. I've been disappointed if I don't get five. That was five. That was five. One more go then. Anything more than five is an improvement. Focus! Seven! I did touch it a seventh time! That is seven. I did come off the wall between six and seven, so I let Charlie decide. But I did get a seventh touch on it. Back to you, Charlie Morley. Please. Okay, this is my toilet roll kick-up challenge. I've never attempted this before, even though it is, or it was a trend at one point. But uh, yeah, let's just get into it. Attempt one out of three. Let's go. Where's my toilet roll? Oh, that's seven. Okay. Attempt one out of three. One out of three, sorry. Yeah, bro, just, I have a bit of room. It's so hard. Oh, I don't know what that was. That was either 21 or 22. Oh, I don't know. Right, I'm just going to take that. Jesus, man. Why am I blowing, bro? What's going on? I'm so unfit. going to get on at this so wish him all the best and I missed great ready oh <laughs> what was that like 12 13 I don't know Attempt. Holy God. Righty ho, okay, everyone has taken part in the toilet roll uh, keepy uppy challenge, and you can see from the results, I actually managed to clutch up and get 71 on my second go. Scott Pollock comes in a very, very close second with 69. Now, in third was George Irving, who got 34. Fourth is Stampy with 21, and in last place was unfortunately Spencer, who got seven. So now we'll get on to how the teams have been affected and what improvements have been brought in. So as I said, you do get upgrades instead of just bringing anyone you want in. So an upgrade is um, going from a bronze to a silver, or a silver to a gold, or a gold to a special, pretty simple. So I've chosen to bring in Shapeshift Amares for a gold player, Team of the Season, so far and Didi for a gold player. Obviously I couldn't use that uh, center back that got sent off in the last game, so I've brought in I've changed him and I've brought in um, Joe Gomez. I've gotten rid of my right wing, I think his name was Balanos, uh, for just normal gold Salah. And I got rid of another gold player called Moreno for the icon 
uh, Hugo Sanchez, not prime moments, the one below that. So that was my five upgrades now. Scotty P got four. He brought in uh, Baby Lampard, uh, Normal Aguero, Scream, James Rodriguez, and also uh, Red Inform uh, Benjamin Mendy. George got three upgrades and he brought in Team of the Season Kovacic, Team of the Season Jimenez, and Normal Gold Abamiang. Stampy got two. He brought in Team of the Season so far Suyunchu and Normal Kante. And Spen's gone all out again. Uh, he did only get one upgrade, but what an upgrade it is. It's Team of the Year Delict. So that is the upgrades and um, that you would have seen them on the screen, how it affects the teams. But now it's time for me to face Scotty P and hopefully get the win. My team's looking good. Uh, it's just the left and right back, which are which are pretty bad. And Otamendi, he's a pretty weak link. But let's get into the game. It's game time, people. I'm nervous, I can't lie. Going in the hashtag kit, as always. Hopefully, the connection's okay. Oh, oh he's nervous. He's nervous. Oh, forget he's got Alisson in goal. Forget. He's obviously pretty, I don't know what he's going to do. Change his formation or something? Good. Go inside. Back there. Loves a chase. Mane. Left peg. Oh, the rebound. No. I shouldn't have shot there. I just, the, the cutback's such an obvious thing. No. Oh my God, he's missed. Oh, give over, man. That is some... That's so poor, man. No, man. What are the, these geezers doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Mahrez, mate. Oh my god. Oh my god, no, this game. I'm 1 0 down going into half time. I don't really know what else to say. He scored a rebound goal. Uh, just like mine was in the last episode, pretty much. But it's been pretty poor for me, to be fair. Don't really know what else to say. 1-0 down. Oh my god, what is he do? What? What? what has he done? What, is he, what has Gomez done there? I swear if he scored another rebound goal. Oh my days. About to lose my head. How is he winning that header? Oh my lord. No, you've made the wrong run. Completely the wrong run there, man. Eh? This isn't happening, people. This could be the first L of the series for me. So many he's done well there. What a pass that is, by the way. Come on, Salah. I mean, Mane and Salah. Salah with the assist. I don't care. Sweaty goals. All count. Go, Salah. Go, Salah. The counter-attack. Ref. <laughs> this game is so rigged, you know. That's such a free kick in any other part of the pitch. That's such a free kick. I need a midfielder to help me out here. Oh, and he's done me. He's absolutely done me from a free kick in any other part of the position, any other part of the pitch. That is a free kick. Disgusting. Obviously, it's not his fault, is it? But, like, disgusting. Disgraceful. Oh, Morris, man! That's just... That should be another goal. Like, what can I say other than that is a goal? Oh, 
Oh, look at this. Look at this. What are they doing? Like, look. Otamendi. Every oh, look. Oh, my. Wow. And I caught... I hate the game, honestly. Right. Okay. I lost 3-1. Um, I think he'll say otherwise, but in my opinion, I don't think it was a 3-1 game. But... What can you do? My players were just terrible. Definitely, definitely, definitely need to um, improve my defence. I'll put the updated leaderboard now on screen. Obviously, I don't know the score in the other game, um, but if that happened by the time that uh, I've edited and uploaded this, then it'll be in involved in that as well. If not, it'll be at the start of next episode. If you're enjoying the series, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. A thousand thumbs up would be much appreciated, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.